Okay, let's make something cool using Squarespace's new update fluid engine without using any custom code. I have a mock-up here and I'm going to recreate it. Um, the website that I'm building on is a sample site that I've built that I'm probably going to use um, and sell as a template or build on it as a template. So it does have a little bit of custom code. You can see the header is fancy, um, but the design elements that I'm going to implement today aren't going to use or require any custom code to create these layouts. Let's get started. So the first section I want to create is this millennial means business marquee at the top that is going to move. And then um, we're going to have a little overlapped image. This image didn't show up, but don't mind. Don't mind that. Okay. So here we are in Squarespace. I've already added all my styles and colors and we're going to add a blank section. The first block that we need to add is our marquee, and it does matter what um, order we add things in now because of the new layout. Um, I want this to be pink, so I think let's add a background to it. Design, background, okay. Um, I do not like how big it is. Nope, that's the section. Design, padding. Top and bottom, there you are. Okay, make it small. Um, I also want it to be flush to the top, so I'm gonna need to edit my section and hit fill screen. Um, so yes, I added my, my scrolling block first and then I want based on my mock-up I want to add an image and then text because that's what I want my e-reader to see so I'm gonna add an image here and I'm gonna add text over here and a button And I don't want my button to be fill, which is automatic. I do not like that. Okay, let's see. Add some of this copy. And make this a little more spaced out. Add my image. and I want to style it so that it's underneath my accordion and it has rounded corners. So I think I'm going to go 50. No, it's too much. 30, 20. Okay. Um, I think I want it to be a bit bigger and put it underneath there. And this needs to say millennials mean business. And this needs to be a dollar sign. Damn, that took us no time at all. I have to make my button say the right thing. Business doesn't equal burnout. And you can see that it's not quite aligned to the text, so I need to go in and check the alignment and make it left justified. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, happy. Our next section that we're gonna design is probably my favorite, and it's a split section. So we have one side with text in an image and one side where the image is a background and we have a little bit of text overlaid, plus another like cool squirrely image overlaid. So. This is where it gets into um, trying to add things in the right order again. I'm going to add my image first and my human text next and my pink circles next. And then I'm going to add my smiley face, my image, and my further text. So creating a new section, blank, adding an image 
this is going to be my full width image so I'm going to drag it all the way to the side and I'm going to need to get rid of my padding again so remove fill screen and because I want it to be perfectly centered so that my um, image lines up with the center of my page I have to make my grid remove the gap so I did that now I want this to be pretty big and I want to add some text let me go ahead and add my image and you might have to adjust the focus of your image and I want it to be fill not fit okay and I want to add text on top of this that says human and I want it to be probably heading one although to be quite fair actually it's better for it to be h2 because this should be the only thing that's h1 on this page and now that it's fill it doesn't really matter because we can make it whatever size we want and it's just going to adjust to the size of the bounding box love that for us and I'm going to hit edit again because I want it to be white not black and slide it up a bit and I want to add my circles here um, and I do want it to be left justified so it goes off the side of the page and then I'm going to add my smiley face, my image underneath my smiley face, and my text. So you can see it's underneath. We're just going to hit that button and make it pop up. Um, I think I'm going to be a little smaller. Again, I have to make this image of fill and then my text just copy it over and one cool thing about text boxes is even though uh, you have to add things in the right order if I wanted to make this have like change add a little text to the text box I could still add I want to make this small. Um, a new line of text about who it was from because as long as it's within this text box it's all going to read in the same order so I can add that after the fact I'm going to grab all of it at once and slide it up a little bit yeah love that okay so section two finished the last section I want to create is this um, e evenly spaced three services section. So normally if I was doing three evenly spaced items, I would use a list section, but because I want to overlap this, I'm just going to use the fluid engine section. I need to add my text box, the business flip first, and then I need to add the new because that's what order I want my e-readers to see it in. So I'm gonna add a blank section. I'm gonna add a text box. and I'm going to add an image that I'm going to end up overlapping on top of it. And I'm going to do this again. I'm not going to make you guys watch me add this. Okay, I've added my sections and added a background to each one. 
and I do want to make sure that they're all even. I have one more piece of, I have to add the funny sign to each one. And then I think I want to add a little bit of padding to the page. So let's see. They all need to be the same height. And because I'm not losing, using list sections, I have to adjust them myself. So I need all the text on the second row to kind of line up here. Okay, that's pretty good. And I want to add, I want to make the padding for each one large so it gives it some more space to breathe. And then readjust the text. Okay, that looks good to me. Um, although all of them are slightly off center, so. So I have two grid items over here, two over here, and then one and one. So pretty happy with how that looks. And the last thing I want to do to is add an image and a big button. So my button's going to appear clear like the rest of my buttons on my site. So where I need to change that is the style panel, but first let me add my image. <clears throat> Design, fill, and a button. Okay, so this button is automatically fill. Love that for us, but it's clear, so it's not doing what I want. I need to make this a little bit bigger. And I need to make this an even number. Okay, um, so this button is supposed to say schedule an assessment. And then what I need to do is, I think what I'm going to do is change this section to be a different light version and then make, cancel, and then make my site styles for just that specific Uh, section have a big pink button. So I'll go in here, I'll hit lightest two, and I'll make sure that when I click my button, the background says pink. How oh, can I not? Um, I would have to custom code it to have a background, I think. Well, okay. Sometimes you get into design and you figure out you can't execute as exactly how you wanted. So what my other workaround as a designer would be to just make this background a white textured background so you could see the button. Or, I mean, because I can custom code, I would target this button and adjust it so that it was... Actually, you know what? You know what I could do? Okay, we found, we found another solution. Let's make it a, a secondary button. And let me see if I can change just my secondary buttons to be, to have a, a background. Site styles, buttons, secondary. I want it to be fill, and I want it to be fill. <gasps> I did it! Okay, great. And now I have to go change the color in site styles now. Um, yeah, no code at all. Look at us. This is lightest two. Oh no, I want it to be my, not my primary button. Sometimes it takes a little longer than you want, but whatever, we're making it happen.
Okay, now it looks exactly like a mock up. I am loving it. Do -do -dum -dum -dum. All right, so we can make really cool things without any custom code at all on our new layout. I would have fixed this money sign, but I hope you are excited about the new Fluid Engine. And if you feel intimidated at all, please um, watch my videos, check out our blog, uh, send us an email. We'll cover any topics you want in content. All right.